Hello everyone. Well, in this particular video, we'll be seeing certain things about the firmwares and how we can extract those firmwares and can fetch out the credentials out of those firmwares. So, well, in this particular video, we'll be using a tool that is Binbox. So for the demo purpose, I already downloaded a firmware. So this is one of the particular firmware which is in the binary file or the bin file. And you can see that if I try to open it with normal any of the thing, it we cannot open that and moreover we cannot perform if we try to open it also we cannot perform any additional tasks into that so by using bin walk we'll be seeing like how we can extract out the firmware and how we can find out the particular file system inside that particular firmware and after finding out the file system will be fetching out the passwords or the credentials stored inside those firmwares. So let's say this particular firmware, I got it from a particular router that is MR3020 of TP-Link and we'll be just using a tool to extract that particular file system out of this. So to do that, we'll be using a tool that is binwalk by default, it is installed in your Kali Linux. So there are several switches it supports. So for extraction, we'll be using hyphen E and then I'll be providing the name of the firmware. After doing this, you'll see something like this. And here you got some of the information like the uncompressed size and it is you using like your squash fs file system and the version and the block size and the number of bytes so these all the basic information which you get and once you extract this you can see that this particular will be created with a dot extracted folder name so we'll be moving up to this directory and we'll be seeing what we got over here. So as you can see that here are lots of files which is present. And it is basically a custom firmware from OpenWRT. So we are just for the demo purpose we are using this. And all things will be same as the Linux operating system only like your bin will be there and other things will be there. Controller, host and everything root. These all things will be there. So now we are just let's suppose we are just interesting in fetching out the passwords of telnet out of it. So what we can do is either we can go folder by folder inside everything. Let's say if I go to bin directory and or if I go to the squash fs root and then I move to bin and from here I need to go with each and every file and I need to perform the tasks manually. So instead of doing this task, it will be a very hectic task for us to go in each and every file and to check for the credentials. We can easily use the built-in utility that is grep. We'll be going into the root where we extracted that particular firmware. 
and inside this root we'll be just performing a grep command with hyphen i r n and then let's suppose we want to search out for telnet only or we can pass out anything like passwords or anything so now what this INR, IRN is I basically stands for the case insensitive and R is for the recursive and N is just to ignore the number uh, line numbers or the number of lines so here when I perform this you can see that I found out some of the juicy information out of this like our uh, command telnet hyphen d telnet d or the telnet daemon is run from this particular folder and here are certain things like squash fs root it is also containing our telnet particular string of the telnet so let us just move around and in the meanwhile it is just it will take a lot of time because a lot of uh, files are there so it will keep on searching each and every file with a particular name that is telnet so now we are just here in our root directory of our extracted firmware so we will be moving up in the directory where it showed up like our telnet daemon is running so we will be moving up into squash fs root and here if we see that we have the bin and if I go into my bin I can find out certain scripts just like your login.sh so if I go to login.sh Here we can easily find out like this is just the thing like comment out things but we can easily find out like use password pssWD to set your login passwords and other things also we can just find out like the shadow files and the password files and all those things. So once it finish up the searching because it will take a long time to search each and every file for that particular keyword. So I'll just exit my editor and we can just even move out with the other files also like your config generate because we didn't put it up in any of the devices we just directly downloaded it and we are performing the demo over there so it there must be the chances like there must be the chances like uh, this particular firmware is not having any of the configurations so that is the thing but anyways you come to know like how you can extract the firmware and how you can grab out the credentials out of it so well this was all about your bin walk and the firmwares. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you. Thanks for watching and please do subscribe and like our channel.